Hey guys, this is Mary Shaw, and in today's video, I'd like to show you FreshBooks, which is a great accounting program. I've been using it for about two years in my own freelance activities, and uh, I'd like to take you on a little tour. So uh, let's go ahead and set up the free account. The free account allows you to manage up to three clients per month. Uh, if you're going to need more than that, you'll need to do a paid option. Uh, but for purposes of this demonstration, we'll set up and sign up for a free account. Here we go. So just enter your details, your company name, your email, etc., uh, your desired username and password. And uh, when you're ready, you just click Create Your Account. And what I like about this is you get your own login page for your FreshBooks account. So that's going to be your login page, the URL you set up. On sign up. So just go ahead and click create your account and then your login page shows up with your uh, username and password details already entered. And that will bring you to a one-time setup screen where you can enter the rest of your details in, your name and address, uh, your currency codes, your profession, and uh, where you heard about FreshBooks, which was hopefully from me. Uh, you have to enter this little CAPTCHA and click on the uh, little checkbox that says Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. And then you're ready to get started. And your account has been created. So this is your home page in FreshBooks. And there's different ways you can get started. You can create an invoice. You can create a client. You can create a project. Um, another nice thing about FreshBooks is you can upload your own logo for branding purposes. You can customize outgoing emails, and you can also add uh, staff and contractors to the application, which is quite nice. One of the nice new features of FreshBooks is the project dashboard, and that allows you to establish a budget of hours uh, against a project. And that's nice because you can check that at a glance once things are uh, entered into the system. And then looking at the top tabs of the application, you have your home screen, which we're looking at right now. You have clients. Uh, team is where you enter staff and contractors. Invoices is where you will prepare your invoices. Uh, there's a place to create estimates if you need to do that. Uh, you can also enter expenses. Uh, time tracking is where I spend the bulk of my time. And then FreshBooks has some really great reports that uh, will help you track your performance and uh, also how often you get paid. Uh, before you can really get started in FreshBooks, you need to create a client. Uh, that would be the first thing I would do, so that's what we'll do here. So go ahead and click on Create a Client. This is the Add a New Client page in FreshBooks, and here's where you enter the organization name, uh, how you will be sending your invoices by email or snail mail. Uh, you can enter their email address and other pertinent contact details, and uh, then save them. If you want, you can give your client a username and password so they can review the hours that you've worked on their project. And then you click Save when you're done. Okay, on the next screen you'll see your client has been created. So let's go ahead and go back to the home screen. And we are ready to create our first project. So this is the Create a New Project page, and I'm going to call this Cool New Website. I'm going to assign it to Joe's ad agency and I'm going to uncheck that box and bill it at an hourly project rate of $50 an hour. Then I'm going to put a time budget in of 80 hours because I think I can get this project done in 80 hours. Now then scrolling down you'll see assign tasks and FreshBooks comes with some generic tasks and you can add or subtract from them as you wish. Let's add a new task. We'll call this one brainstorming. And this is nice because you can assign this task to all the projects that you manage or you can, and or, you can check if you uh, want to bill hours uh, performing this task. So I'm going to put my billable hour in there. I'm, I'm going to put my billable rate in there. And then you'll see brainstorming appears in the selection list. So that's kind of cool. And then you save it. And now the project has been created. Uh, now you can build time against it. So let's go ahead and click on go to your timesheet. 
And this is the FreshBooks timesheet interface. It's quite nice because there are several different views. You can view by the month, you can view it weekly, uh, daily, and there's even a, a nice timer function uh, if you want to uh, start and stop the timer while you're actually working on a project to be super accurate. I'm going to go ahead and click on the home page, and then the next time I come into the time tracking area, you'll see those hours are already logged. There they are. So now I've logged my hours, and I am ready to send my first invoice. So let's go ahead and click on the Invoices tab. And uh, FreshBooks will ask you for a default way to uh, submit your invoices and we're going to select our client. It's Joe's Ad Agency. FreshBooks will automatically display the invoice number and the date of issue. Uh, you can add a PO number if you need to or any kind of discount. Uh, you can also set up online payment through PayPal and, and other gateways, which is nice. Uh, you can edit the address if you need to. And then you can enter the details of your invoice. And uh, so I did some research and it was for the cool new website. Uh, my rate was $50 an hour. I did two hours worth of work, and it's going to calculate the total. And I like to set the terms and then say thanks for your business. And then from there, I'll, I always like to save my invoice as a draft just to make sure everything's okay before I send it on to my client. So then I'm going to look it over, and if it, when it looks good, I'll preview it. And this is what your client will receive, uh, usually in a PDF format. So looking that over, making sure everything's fine, uh, I will go ahead and click send, and I'm going to send it by email. And there we go. Yes, I'm sure I want to do that. Click OK, and off it goes. I just sent my first invoice, and now it appears as sent in my invoices page. So let's assume that I received payment and I want to log that. I'm going to check the box and I'm going to click on payment and I will enter the payment as paid in full. I'll make a memo uh, with the check number then click, click save. And when you do this you automatically communicate to your client that you have received payment which is nice for them and nice for you. And you'll also notice that now on the invoices page it indicates that you've been paid. And now you're ready to archive this invoice. So in a nutshell, this is a summary of the basic features and functionality of FreshBooks. It's a great way for you to track and send invoices and uh, just track your finances in general. So I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.